there's a lot of space in my work. There's a lot of white paper. I mean, every one of my paintings has something to do with landscape. It has something to do with the connection between sky and earth. So, so if you look at my artwork, if you look at my architecture, if you look at the way I live, there, there's an aesthetic revolving around my whole lifestyle. It's all about simplicity. I, I would call myself a born-again artist. My name is Harry Worth. I'm a retired professor of art and design, and I'm currently an artist and an architect. Uh, I taught in an art and design school. I taught at two universities, actually four, five different colleges. And see, teaching the principles of art make one, it, it changes a person. So there was this artist inside me all of this time, but th that egg was never cracked until just recently. Teaching concept to students and teaching creativity, that all grew inside my mind and my soul, and, it, and it's now being born uh, later in life. So, so I'm actually younger now as an artist than, than I was before in, in, in being able to do the, the work that I'm creating. What inspires my watercolors are things right here, this landscape. Every morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is I walk to the south window of my, uh, of my bedroom and I look out on the landscape and, it, and it's just different. Every single day, uh, every single year, it's never the same. The landscape's constantly changing because of the trees, the leaves, the growth, and, and, it, and it's just fantastic. So, so I get these glimpses, I get these little snapshots that I keep in my memory. And um, when I go to my paintings, a lot of those come out, a lot of those uh, uh, are born again as I'm putting the paint and ink on the paper, these little glimpses, these little snapshots that I have in the back of my mind end up becoming reality. The ones I'm doing now are, are what I call, a, the, the title of it is Imaginary Spaces. So not necessarily a landscape, but a space, a, a, an outdoor space. Looking out this window, you see frames, you see what I call a dynamic landscape. Each one of these are little frames of artwork. Each one of these is a changing little artwork as we look from this one to this one to this one. So that, that inspired me to a different way of painting, what I call windows paintings. The way I start is I just start and, and I'll just pick up a color and I'll, I'll basically throw that color down with some water and, and, and I'll start working with what's happening there. And I may have a, a, an idea of a, of a certain contrast that I'll want or maybe a certain amount of space but uh, it'll evolve as I'm going with it. Watercolor, it, it's, it's what we call a spontaneous medium. It captures a lot of energy very, very quickly and, and you have to work fast because it's, it's so transparent. It, there's a direct connection between my, the art that I'm doing now and, and, and my, the house that I live in, which, which is kind of the culmination of my architectural ideas. The house is an extension of the, of the landscape. So we have a prairie landscape out here, which we, we encourage to grow. In fact, my wife Kathy planted prairie grasses. And then we have what's called a savanna, a woods savanna. And I wanted the house to grow in the middle of the savanna, these 100 mature oak trees. So the house is basically a, a tree trunk that's growing out of the ground and, and is part of the trees that surround it. When people tour the house, they're surprised by the shape and the form, the colors, and when they come in, they're, they're very, very much surprised by, by the spaciousness of it. Because I tell them it's 900 square feet, so they're expecting some small little cabin. But because of the window placements and the way it is uh, spaced, uh, it just opens itself to the landscape. That, that's my biggest inspiration, is just walking around my property and uh, watching the changing colors all the time of the sky, the, the space. This morning we had a foggy morning. Those sort of things excite me and I try to uh, get that on paper. I'm really interested in space. So when you think about what I'm doing here, this is all an illusion. This is all fantasy because all I'm doing is I'm staining paper. And people say, well, why don't you fill up that whole canvas? Well, you don't have to because a painting or an artwork could be more powerful with minimal uh, subject matter. Where as compared to something being filled up. It gives you a relaxation point, it gives you something to compare something to, and by using space and contrast, that's how you get powerful meaning in your artwork. So some of my mo most powerful pieces are the ones with the most amount of white space around them. So the whole aesthetic comes down to a simplicity, simplicity and uh, 
space. I use ink and watercolor. And sometimes the inks don't mix with the watercolor and they fight each other. You know, it's immiscible, the, the chemical term. And it creates some interesting, what I call interesting accidents. When I create my work, I have to be honest to say that a lot of times I want to throw it away. But as it's drying, I start seeing something in it. Rather than tearing the paintings up like I used to do when, when I saw they weren't going the right direction, I would just walk away from them either for a day or for a couple hours and I'd come back and I'd, I'd see that there's something going on there. When I look out the window, this is a very still day today, but uh, a lot of times it's just very windy like the prairie. And I want to capture some of that energy of the wind in the paintings. So this one I, I think I'll just let sit overnight and I'll probably start another one. Art can be created in a matter of minutes or an hour or, or maybe a day with, with what I do here. Architecture, my house for example, or when I design a, a space for somebody, it, we're talking years in time. It's completely different, it's completely contrary to the way I used to work for, for over 30 years. Because as an architect, everything had to be planned and precise and extremely serious. And what I did is I just, about four years ago, I threw that whole thing away. To, to where I sit down now and I relax and I just let it flow. It just, it just, I can shake it out of my sleeve, uh, so to speak. I, I just really feel that, that my spirit's just, just flowing through my hands out on the paper. And I'm not as controlled as I used to be. I'm not as serious. And, and the best work is coming out now as compared to the past 